Hello and welcome to The Space Between Ideas. I'm Blaine Gates, back from the dead. (laughs) Yeah, yesterday it was tough. um, And, you know, I had one of those 24-hour flus. And, uh, I mean, it was like literally hours of just like trying to pull myself up to make a video. Uh, Because, you know, like we talked about Jerry, Jerry Seinfeld, you know, a long, long time ago that when you start one of these challenges and you start to make a video like every day, hold on a second, I gotta sneeze. Okay. Uh, And you start making a video every day, then it's like, you just, you don't wanna break the chain, right? So I was just like, I was dying, man. (laughs) Finally, I just like tried to make a video as quick as I could. And uh, anyways, so I'm back, like today I feel fine. I mean, it's been tough, but, uh, you know, I got, I I feel better and better throughout the day. Now, so we're moving into the last checklist. These are the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight themes. Now I'm, I need to check that uh, schedule because like eight themes, what is it? Day? I don't know. Cause I don't know. (laughs) Yesterday doesn't really count day. What was it? Day 81, something like that. I can't even remember. But obviously, 81 plus 9 themes. Apparently, there are not 101 themes for business. <laughs> so, But there are actually some other places. In the, ah, it must be some other sections of the book. There are some other things that we can talk about in the book. Uh, oh, yeah. And then there's some things at the beginning of the book, too. Okay, so there actually are quite a few choices. And there are a couple of things that we can do um, to just continue on the, the process of this 101-day challenge now of course a 101 day challenge just sounds much more like much better than like a 90 day challenge because there's just that thing i think maybe it came from i mean it must be before the 101 dalmatians because why did they say 101 dalmatians they must have got this 101 idea from somewhere so this marketing ploy so today we're going to talk about state resources Now, the checklist, state resources, it says to determine capabilities needed so that endeavors succeed. Uh, Yeah, so basically, you know, whatever you're doing. So I guess you could, could, we could have actually talked about this when you were talking about courses of action. When you are uh, putting together scenarios. When, basically, where does the resource, where do the resources fit? Now, if you go to the state uh, progress checklist, then the resources fit at the very bottom. There's actually the very last one, the last, uh, the last theme of the state progress checklist is resources. It's connected to resources. And in that checklist, so if we turn to the page for state, uh, state progress, it says involve resources. And then if we go into um, the definition, like what is the instructions, it says involve resources such as people, skills, information system, and funds. And so that's the whole point. Now, when you're using the state progress checklist, what you do is you start from the very top and you, you start to talk about like what are the reuses and what are the outcomes? Like what is it that you're trying to achieve? What are you working towards? And then from there, you try to create some plans that, that can help you to achieve those goals. Now, the whole idea is that once you have the, like the outcome that you're working towards and you understand the plan, I mean, obviously your plan is going to be based off of the resources that you have available to you. And um, so having, so now for, also if you, if you look at it from the perspective of, um, the endeavor elements. So remember, we have the create effects. And then in order to create effects, you need to form agendas. And in order, and then in order to carry out your agendas, you need to shape potential, you need to use your potential and shape that potential. And, and by working toward those outcomes, you literally are shaping potential. And one element of that uh, potential are your resources. So I think I'm gonna have to find some resources to figure out how to make this camera more stationary. (laughs) So that's the whole point. Like, 
like the whole thing is like that we're we're in a cycle actually we we have our resources and in order to develop we need to use them and then we use our resources within our agendas and then to achieve our outcomes once we use once we achieve the outcomes then we take the results of our our project and we put them right back into the bottom into our resources again and then we then we want to shape those potent that uh, those resources even further and the way that we shape them is by continuing to use them so what are the resources that we're going to be uh, using like yeah so for example he says too often uh, dr. Buckholz in his book create crucial insight he said too often people miss the opportunity to gather or grow resources and practices appropriate for an endeavor. Now, if you want to gather and grow appropriate resources, obviously you need to define them. So like, what are the resources that we need to use? For example, skills. So skills might include leadership skills. As you work with a project and as you work with a team, then you are going to be using leadership skills. So, and if you have leadership skills, then probably, then you will be able to lead a team. And as you lead the team, then, of course, your leadership skills will develop. Uh, subject matter ability, for example, marketing. So your ability to do marketing is going to grow as you learn about it and as you use those skills. And if you don't have those skills, then you need to identify or grow that resource. You need to figure out what practices are appropriate. What type of marketing skills do you need for your endeavor? What kind, what kind of marketing professionals should you, should you bring into your company in order to do, this, uh, to do this project? All right, how about finance? So obviously, if you have a finance department, then, uh, or if you are trying to manage your finances, then you need to have some like subject matter ability. You need to understand finances to some degree so that you have those skills or that you're developing those skills so that you're able to use those skills within your project. All right, how about engineering? So, yeah, I, like I work with a couple of engineers, and it's interesting to talk to engineers and see how differently they approach things. Because, you know, engineering, usually, you know, you're working with laws of physics, and you're working with laws of, you're using mathematics, and you're just, you just, you know, it's very different for these people who are interested in stuff uh, compared to people who are interested in people. People who are working with people, like managers, and then you have engineers who are working with materials. How about fluency in a language? All right, so I went to my Russian lessons this morning, and I am developing that skill. And then probably at some point I'll be able to use that skill in some type of activity. How about proficiency with a system or method? and so forth. All right, so like obviously I have the skill to record videos and it's not very complicated for me to click upload. And then I can then make the, you know, the little picture, the thumbnail, and then I can also type some ideas about the concept and write the description. And then I can then upload some content onto Instagram. And then I can re-upload the stuff onto LinkedIn. And then I can upload the stuff again onto Facebook. So I have like, you know, all these basic uh, skills about how to use these different systems. So, and that's the whole thing. is like, um, as you are, as you are thinking about like, so, I mean, you can approach it from a couple of different angles. So it says determine capabilities needed so that endeavors succeed. So as you, like, okay, so in the last 30 days, we were, we were talking about how to make our endeavors succeed, how to choose a course of action, which has the most imp impact. Now, once you choose the course of action, um, then, so if you, if, you, if you are like, if you're planning, so if you do a top-down approach, if you go through the state progress checklist from the top, meaning you identify what you want, the outcomes that you want, and then you develop a plan in order to achieve that, right? Then, and you keep going down, eventually you're going to reach the resources section, okay? So what are the resources that you need? And you should be able to identify all the skills which are necessary in order to achieve the result that you want. And then uh, after you've identified the skills which are needed, then the next step, of course, is either to grow this, the resource within yourself, meaning you need to get some training, 
or you need to grow the resource with your current team, meaning your team needs some training, or you need to bring somebody on board who has that skill. In order for the work to be performed, there must be appropriate skills. So that's the first resources resource that we're here to talk about. Now, once you have identified the resources, you've al you already have your plan, and uh, you know what you're working towards, then of course, then it's th you start from the very bottom of the state progress checklist, meaning you go and get those resources, and then you implement them. And usually skills are implemented through people. <laughs> so, so then that takes you up to the next level of the state uh, progress checklist, which is you go from involved resources, then you go next to working with interactions. All right, so uh, that's the first resource, and uh, let's keep on going through these resources over the next week to talk, discuss all the different resources.